G'day, this is Andrew Price from Polygon. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the secret to making your Marvelous Design fabric look realistic. So Marvelous Designer is the king of cloth. It's industry standard for a very good reason in that it's really, really good at making realistic cloth. Um, but while it's good at getting the overall shape of fabric, its weakness is in the detail. So if you get in close to a marvelous design simulation, you'll see that it often looks too soft and smooth looking. Um, and the reason for that is that in the real world, fabric has creases, wrinkles, and much smaller folds than marvelous, unfortunately, is able to create. So I spoke with two character artists that work at Ubisoft and Blur Studios. And they said that in production, the way that they get this detail is by taking their simulation from Marvelous Designer and then importing that into ZBrush and then manually sculpting out extra detail. So that's the secret. And that's something that a lot of artists don't have in their workflow. If you've tried this though, you will know that manually sculpting out detail is a lot harder than it sounds, even for pro character artists. So I asked them what would make this easier, and they said a set of brushes specifically designed for fabric sculpting. So at Polygon, we spent a couple of months uh, researching folds and fabrics and things, and we created a collection of brushes which we believe solves this problem. They work in ZBrush or any other sculpting application like Blender, um, and they create realistic folds, wrinkles, and seams with basically one brush stroke. So I've included a link in the description so you can download five brushes now for free, um, as well as this base mesh so that you can try it out now um, along with me. So I'm sure most of you watching already know how to install brushes in ZBrush, but I'll just explain it very quickly for those who don't. If you go to the Pixelogic ZBrush ZBrushes folder, just create a subfolder there and just call it whatever you want. I called mine Fabric. And then you just wanna dump all of your ZBP files, which are the ZBrush files. You wanna put them there. Then if you restart ZBrush, go to the light box, brushes. You should then see your subfolder there, double click that and you'll see your brushes. Then if you just double click on any brush, try it out, drag it onto a mesh and you will see the results. So there are three types of brushes. There are fold brushes, which are like medium scale folds. There are wrinkle brushes, which are the high resolution creases, and then there are seam brushes. So each of them were based off of either photo scanned actual folds or photo references. So basically what that means is that you can drag them out onto the mesh and get really good results very, very quickly. Um, so each of the brushes uh, is, is good at certain things. So for example, this brush here is really good at creating directional tension across fabric, like, being, like it's being pulled on both sides. Uh, whereas this brush here is really good for adding tension to like hanging corners. Um, and then there are other brushes like this one, which is good for creating like a relaxed thin sheet on top of the mesh. So sort of different look there. Really the trick to using the brushes is just to use the marvelous designed simulation as like a guide and see sort of where the, uh, the, the creases are or the, uh, the folds are, I should say, um, already in the fabric. And then you wanna add to that with more, more detail. The wrinkle brushes are really cool because they can really work on any type of fabric, clothing, wherever. And they're just tiny little creases and wrinkles um, to create the look of unironed fabric, which is crucial because pretty much every piece of clothing has wrinkles in it. Um, if you're wearing a shirt, look down, you'll probably see some wrinkles, right? Um, so this is high level detail. So you wanna make sure that you're using a subdivided mesh um, that you can see it. Uh, and you also wanna be subtle. Like you can go too high on this and make it just look like really rough, um, but it can look like a little too far. It can look like really uncared for fabric. So just be careful with it. Um, and then finally, there are seam brushes. So these are, I'm sure you've probably seen other packs online um, of seam brushes uh, that basically create different types of stitching. So we picked a number of different stitching styles and we created that in, uh, in brush form. Um, one thing that uh, we, we, we saw online, like a lot of the brushes, they were a little bit too perfect. Like they look sort of like computer generated uh, seams. So in ours, we actually tried to create um, like natural imperfections, like variances of the width and like little tiny details to try to make that, make it look like real seams, like 
even if it's like using a sewing machine, there's always going to be little imperfections in it. So that's what we tried to uh, create. Um, and yeah, when you just drag them out, if you uh, if you want to continue one line, what I find is good is you actually draw a draw from the other direction. It's easy to uh, line them up that way. Alternatively, you can actually also use these uh, these seam brushes in Substance Painter and paint directly into the normal map. So this has the added bonus of uh, painting an ID mask for the stitches as well, so that you can then give the threads a different color, which is really good if you know, you're know you making like a, a brown leather couch and then you wanna create like white seams in it. Um, that's the sort of thing you need. Um, so yeah, so there are actually four types of fabric brushes now on Polygon. There are folds, wrinkles, and seams, as I already mentioned, as well as another type I didn't mention, which is clothing, which is specific um, folds for specific parts of, of clothing. So like the armpits, the crotch, uh, the back of the shirt, um, you know, common areas like that. So each one is available to download as a ZBrush file, as well as a PSD for other sculpting software like Blender. So there is a whole collection on Polygon right now. You can browse and check them out. Um, but yeah, start with the, uh, the free five that I've included in the YouTube description. Um, and that's it. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoy it. And if you do make something cool, please, uh, please let us know. We like seeing what you make uh, on Twitter. So that is at PolygonHQ. Give us a shout out there and we'll uh, check out your work. Thank you.